Hi, my name's Emily Retsis. I play bass for Phoebe Bridges and Kim Gordon. I'm also one of the founders of Sound Travels, which is a remote for hire platform for musicians. And this is my board to death. First up is my Sansamp. It's a DI. I don't use it as a DI. I usually run out of my bass head, but what I do use it for is to just kind of tweak my clean tone if I need to. Obviously, sometimes I'm using backline or playing for lots of different people. So that kind of just gives me a little more control over what's going on. It's also really nice to kind of like mix up with uh, the POG to kind of give you a little bit of a different tone. Uh, but I usually kind of leave it in the same settings depending on what's going on. So next up is uh, the Devi Ever Wolf. It's one of the only kind of bass fuzzes that she made. They actually don't make this anymore. I own a ton of her fuzz pedals and I own multiple of the Wolf. It just kind of holds low end really well, which I find a lot of bass fuzz kind of like cut out on. And I remember like being at a Roland S. Howard tribute show. It was like his friends and family playing his songs and they played pop crimes and the bass tone was so sick. I was like, whatever I do, I have to make my bass sound like that. I did a bunch of research, I found this and I haven't looked back since. I've tried to replace it, nothing has come close. Like I said, it's pretty sick. I love it. And it's also got Virginia Woolf on it. Next up, I have the Electroharmonics Micropog, uh, which is like a polyphonic octave generator. So you've got dry, sub-octave, and octave up. I kind of use this in place of maybe if there's like, just like really simple upright bass happening and live, that's not something that we kind of recreate. So this kind of takes the place of that. So I kind of have it with like octave up all the way down and just the sub octave on. Um, so it's kind of cool for stuff like that, as well as filling in for like upright bass. I kind of use it to replace like a synth sound as well. I bought a ton of bass synths trying to find something to work for the Kim Gordon record and hated all of them. And came back to this and all I really did was move the octave up, up, and then mix that in with my Sans amp to kind of recreate the tones on her record. Um, so I'll show you that. So it's pretty cool live, it sounds really good in the mix. I can go like a little higher. So I use that a lot, love the POG. Someone gave it to me, I was kind of skeptical, but it has definitely found its place as one of the hardest working pedals that stays on my board. Next up, I have the Earthquaker Devices C Machine. This is really fun, especially if you're like a Joy Division fan. You can get some really cool tones with this one. really cool tones that you can get out of that. Lots of different options. Not entirely sure what they all do, but whatever it is, it sounds great. And last up is my tuner, a uh, Korg Pitch Black. It gets a beating, always picks up bass, which not every tuner does. I don't know. I saw someone else using this, I think on a board to death actually, and bought one and it has 
stood the test of time. Some of these are like interchangeable depending on like what gig I'm doing or like what album cycle kind of thing that I'm on. And I saw like some people had some really cool, like they had their inspirational quotes or like pictures of their partners and stuff on their pedal board. So I just have inspirational quote printed on mine uh, and superstition, uh, thanks to somebody else who printed that on my board. I tend to not use too many pedals live. I notice like a lot of bass players have much larger pedal boards. I actually keep mine really simple and kind of let my bass and my amp do most of the talking. I don't usually think that you need a lot live. Studio is like a different kind of beast, but if I go to a show and like hear someone's like rig and really like it, I'll either like lurk and like take a photo or like talk to them about it. I think that's a really great way to kind of like find cool gear that isn't like necessarily what everyone else has. All gear doesn't sound the same with every rig. So I've had people recommend me certain pedals, try them out. I couldn't make them sound good. I definitely get attached to certain ones. Like I said, I've tried to find better fuzzes out there than the Wolf, but nothing has kind of lived up. And I think you, once you have like your basic ones, you can kind of make them work harder for you so that you don't have to have like 10 different pedals that you're barely using. Mm -hmm. 